in this uh, video we will be starting with the next uh, category of evidences so this is our third category that is paleontological evidences paleontological evidences are based on the fossils that we have found out fossils are so let us write down it is based on the study which is done on fossils so study on fossils now what exactly these fossils are the fossils can be the remains of an organism in the form of a skeleton complete skeleton or a part of skeleton it can be in the form of a shell it can be just in the form of an impression so fossils are the remains of organisms which existed long time back so these are remains of organisms which existed long time ago and this long time ago does not mean few years back it means thousands of years back these fossils as we said can be a complete skeleton we'll take couple of examples where we have found out almost the complete skeleton sometimes we find pieces of bones sometimes we find shells of some organisms or the impressions the age of these fossils how old they are is determined by a technique called carbon dating so age of fossils is determined by carbon dating carbon dating technique was given by so this technique was by levy so this helps us identify the time period or how many thousands or millions of years ago these organisms existed because these organisms no longer exist as such we are just finding their fossils and on the basis of our study based on these fossils we are able to study how evolution has taken place now before we take examples let us talk about two scientists the first most important that is the father of paleontology and father of paleontology is known as or leonard da vinci is known as the father of paleontology the second important name is of g cuvier and he is known as father of modern paleontology so father of paleontology is da vinci and father of modern paleontology is cuvier so these two names we have to remember now let us talk about the examples and the first example that we want to take is of archaeopteryx now here when we are talking of this archaeopteryx or couple of more examples we will take them under missing links missing links or this term is given to the organisms which are extinct which are extinct that means they do not do not exist anymore and we if we find their fossils and if that fossil tells us or shows the characteristic of two groups we have talked about connecting link when we were talking of morphological and anatomical evidences one organism showed characteristic features of two groups so that helps us that the existing organism has evolved from the not so evolved organism here we are talking of missing link these are the fossils that we are studying and the organisms whose fossils we are studying they do not exist anymore they are extinct but 
the fossils show certain characteristics of one group and certain characteristics of the other group. And the first one that we are talking of is archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx. The fossil of Archaeopteryx which was found was almost a complete fossil. It was uh, most of the skeleton which was uh, pretty much intact. After studying this fossil, it was found out that it showed the characteristic features of two groups. Reptiles, so reptilian characters and birds that is avian characters. So they had some characteristics like birds and some characteristics like reptiles. Let us take few characteristics which were like the reptiles. The fossils showed presence of teeth. Teeth are present in reptiles but they are absent in birds. So they had teeth, free, caudal, vertebrae. This is also a reptilian feature. Presence of claws in the digits. That is also a reptilian feature. Now coming to certain features which were of birds. They had beak which is again a feature exhibited by birds. Wings. Though the wings which were uh, probably there in the organisms when they existed. So from the fossil it was understood that their wings were not very well developed. But they had wings. Three fingers and four toes. Presence of furcula and keeled sternum. Sternum was keeled. Keeled sternum is again a characteristic where the sternum becomes winged, which has winged like structures, which provide place for the attachment of flight muscles. So, sternum was keeled, but the wings were not properly developed. So, these were bird like characters. So, Archaeopteryx showed certain avian characters that is bird like characters and certain reptilian characters. So this fossil helps us understand that the birds which exist today probably have evolved from the reptiles and this is again one reason why we call the birds as glorified reptiles. Another example again under missing link can be taken is of Terido spur. These fossils showed characteristics of ferns and gymnosperms. And gymnosperms. And the characteristics which were of the gymnosperms were presence of seed and they showed secondary growth. Ferns reproduce by spore formation and gymnosperms they reproduce by seed production. So these fossils of a particular plant which were found gave us the hint or idea that they had some characters of ferns and some characters of gymnosperms. Rather most of the characters were like ferns and some characters were of gymnosperms. And the characters which were of gymnosperms were presence of seed and they showed secondary form. So again, these pteridosperms do not exist. Whatever information we have is on the basis of the fossils that we got. And they indicate these fossils that the, that organism showed characteristics of two groups. One more example that can be taken is of Velociraptors and they also showed characteristics of reptiles and birds and the bird like character which was found in them was only one that is the wishbone that is in this case we talked about it as furcula so that was the wishbone it is that V shaped sternum and the sternum was keeled also. 
So now when we use the term missing link, we are talking about the fossils and these fossils are of organisms which do not exist anymore. They are extinct. Sometimes we get the complete fossils like in case of Archaeopteryx and by studying those fossils, all these characters were visible in those fossils and which indicate that they had some reptilian and some bird-like features and that is why we have given that statement or the scientists have given that statement that birds are glorified reptiles. Another is of a plant which is pteridosperm showing fern and gymnosperm character and again a reptile pretty much reptile with one bird feature that is velociraptor. This is one evidence under paleontological that is missing link. The second evidence that we take is of the strata of soil in which that organism was found because we can also find out which strata of the soil was formed how many million years ago and if the fossils are detected in or found out in that strata that also will help us indicate that these organisms existed so many years back when this strata of the earth was being formed. So that becomes our second uh, evidence. We can write that here. That evidence number two, one was this missing link. So in different strata of soil, this also helps us understand the time of evolution. Now, the third example which we want to take is of horses. As we said, our entire study is based on fossils. Sometimes we find only one fossil of a particular organism. In case of this Archaeopteryx, though it is a missing link, we just found one. But in case of horse, the present day horse, how has it evolved from the other animals which were no, not really like horse. They were shorter, had different kind of structure. So that study, the complete lineage, complete tracing of evolution can also be done on the basis of fossils. And that has been successfully done for horses, amphibians and uh, sorry, horses, elephants and camels. And the reason has been that we have or the scientists have identified or isolated the fossils which are like just gradually showing us all those changes. So now we are taking the third example that is a horse and that will be the phylogenic, the complete ancestral lineage. Phylogenic, that is the ancestral evolution but it is based on the fossils which have been found. So phy, uh, phylogenetic lineage. And we will be taking the example of horses. This has been done for elephants as well as camels. So in the next section, we will talk about the complete lineage of horse. And that will help us understand how the present day horses have evolved.